In This Week in Military History, we look at the beginning of the world's first global conflict, World War I. Tensions between the great powers, especially Britain and Germany, had been growing for years. Imperial competition, various arms races, and the struggle for industrial supremacy all contributed to a situation that suggested a large-scale conflict was only a matter of time. An alliance system with France, Russia and Great Britain on one side and Germany and Austria-Hungary on the other meant that any local conflict might well lead to a far larger global conflagration. The spark that lit the tinderbox came in the Balkans. On June 28, 1914, a Serbian-backed Bosnian assassinated the heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, and his wife. Austria-Hungary blamed the Serbian government for the attack and the unfurling crisis. However, any move against Serbia would bring in Russia and potentially her allies France and Great Britain. Knowing the possibility of conflict, Austria-Hungary waited for reassurance from its ally Germany and from German leader Kaiser Wilhelm II that Germany would support their cause. Once given, Austria-Hungary issued an ultimatum to Serbia, threatening military action and requiring impossibly harsh terms. Serbia began to mobilize its forces and appeal to its Russian ally for help, who also began to mobilize its army. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia on July 28th. Within a week, Germany declared war on Russia and violated Belgium's neutrality, guaranteed by the 1839 Treaty of London, to attack Russia's ally France and thereby bringing the British Empire into the war. The fragile peace on the continent collapsed as World War I began. Over the next four years, the Great War, as it was also known, drew additional countries into conflict, including Italy, Japan, the Middle East, and the United States. More than 20 million soldiers would die, 21 million more would be wounded. Imperial dynasties would collapse, new nations were born, while others would disappear forever. Tensions continued to fester regardless of the peace treaties post-1919, and only two decades later, similar battle lines would be drawn as the world once again fell into total war. Join us next time for another segment of This Week in Military History with the Pritzker Military Museum and Library.